Hi there, this is a response to a paradox tag that I think I was tagged by Professor Anton, but I'm also responding partially to somebody else called Professor something, I've written a little bit. And uh, in, that, in that video, which is also a paradox tag video, this gentleman says that a paradox occurs when a statement is, both, is claimed to be both true and false at the same time. A proposition is claimed to be true and is also claimed to be false. If that's the case, then a paradox occurs and that's a bit of a problem. So I'm, I'm just trying to think of that kind of geometrically, see if I can find a way into that geometrically. And uh, I just want to start off by showing you a very, very simple geometrical paradox, very famous one. I don't know if you can see that, but it says, the sentence on the other side of this paper is true. Yeah, and when you turn it over, it says, the sentence on the other side of this paper is false. The sentence on the other side of this paper is true. The sentence on the other side of this paper is false. This is a paradoxical object, a piece of paradoxical, ge paradoxical geometry, because um, each sentence is claimed to be both true and has occupies the condition of being both true and false simultaneously. Yeah. Okay. So how do you resolve that? So I'm talking about things, things to resolve this. And you can resolve this particular one geometrically. And I'll show you how you do that. You resolve it geometrically by folding it into a Mobius strip like that. Because as everybody knows, a Mobius strip has only got one side. So now it reads continuously, oops, beg pardon. It reads continuously, the sentence on the other side of this paper is true, the sentence on the other side of this paper is false. So it's, it kind of creates a geometrical space in which there is no other sides and both true and false exist simultaneously, except they're not quite simultaneously. And the argument for that would be that, well at least the argument that presents itself to me, is because in reading that you're effectively walking around this. So although you're not, although you've created a single space in which both these two claims can be, can be simultaneously held, you're not creating a simultaneous time. Because as you move through this in time, each sentence follows another and is, is located in a different place in time. And I can demonstrate that by showing you this my variation of it, which says on here, the next sentence you read will be true. And on the other side it says, the next sentence you read, the last sentence you read was false. Next sentence you read will be true. The last sentence you read was false. And when you do the Mobius strip thing with this one, it does, the, the paradox isn't geometrically resolved because it stays the same, you know, you, it, 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 the, the sequence of readings still separate those two sentences, those two propositions into different temporal spaces. And, and those two temporal spaces refer to each other in ways which produces a paradox. So how do you resolve that one, I've been thinking. And the nearest I've got is this. Okay, same sentence, slightly different shaped piece of paper. The next sentence you read will be true. And on the other side, the last sentence you read was false. Same thing, the next sentence you read will be true. The last sentence you read was false. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm still going to Mobius strip the thing here. So it's still a Mobius strip, one single con continuous surface containing those. But now what I kind of hope I'm implying here by this is as well as a Mobius strip, it's also an Ouroboros, an Ouroboric loop. So not only is it a single surface, but it's a single surface in which the entirety of the, the, the yeah, the entirety is contained within the minuscule. So now the, the last sentence you read was false, doesn't just move temporarily into uh, its complementary sentence, it's also contained within the complementary sentence. So it's a set of recursive containments you've got now with this uh, Ouroboros configuration. It's not a very good model, is it really? But can you see what's going on there? It, each, each statement, rather than being simply placed next to one another is, is contained in an infinite series of recursive containments. So the truth of one statement is contained within a larger falsification, which is contained within a larger verification, which is contained, in turn contained within falsification. And that is recursive, so it continues. All right. Oh, I don't know. Thank you.
you.